So now let us learn about the concept of parenting inside of Toon Boom. So right now, if I were to select this head, so let's, let me just select this head. Let me just expand it and change its position. If I were to do that, you can see that it moves independently right over here because it's not linked to anything right over there. So that's fine. So no problem with the head, but let me go to the shell and do the same with it. So if I were to change the position of the cell, you can see that the shell moves independently as well. But what I want to do is I want to link up all of the body parts to the shell so that when the shell moves, the other body parts, um, uh, um, the other body parts move with it, but they are still able to move separately. So that is what the concept of parenting is all about. So what I'm going to do is here I have the shell as you can see. So over here, this is the main parent. Let me just press the minus key right here so that it hides all the attributes. Let me just expand this out over here. If I were to drag the head onto the shell, you can see that a form of a link actually uh, comes up. And if I were to now move the shell, change the position of the shell, we can see that the head moves along. But the head is independent. So if I were to move the head, you can see that the head doesn't move along with anything right over there. But if I were to change the shell again, you can see that the head and the shell moves again. That is because the head is the child and the child always follows the parents, but uh, the uh, always follows the parents, but the parent does not follow anything. So that is how it actually works out. So usually what I have to do is if I have a character like this, I choose a main uh, body part or an object with, uh, to parent the rest of the body parts too, so that they do not break off. But before I actually uh, parent this out, you should make sure that they are they have the right pivot point right over here because uh, whenever you rotate something, you don't want them to have an error right over here. So let me just go over here and then uh, take out the head. That is, take out the head outside uh, the parenting area so that they are normal just like this. Now what I want to do is I want to make sure the pivot points are all okay. And for that, I'm going to go to the transformation tool and I'm going to go to the translate option right here to set the pivot point. So I'm going to set the pivot point of the shell over here because that is the movable, movable point. So let's go to the head. The pivot point for head is right here, which is fine. So that's okay. We already uh, actually arranged that out in the previous lesson. So now we're going to go on to the tail. So the tail's pivot point is right here. As you can see, let me just hide the shell so that I can actually see this much more clearly. So I'm going to move out the pivot point right over here. So that is where the tail is moving out, so, uh, out from. So whenever you are actually parenting, you should make sure that you uh, use the pivot point to actually align everything out just like this. So now I'm going to go to the left. Um, that is the back left leg, which is going to be right over here. The back right leg, which is going to be right here. The front left leg, which is going to be right here. Control Z, okay. Which is right here and the front right leg, which is right over here, just like this. So all of it is there. So now I have the shell. Now. I'm safe to parent out everything else. So I'm going to select all of these and parent it out uh, with the shell just like this. So if I were to move the shell anywhere, so now I can just turn, um, turn this off. I can go to transformation tool right here. And if I were to change anything regarding the shell, like position X, Y, you can see that all of the body parts move just like that. So I can start animating this just like this. So you can see that once it's selected, everything is selected over here because they are parented just like that. So I can simply go over here on to, uh, let's say 20th frame, and then I'm going to add in frames over here. So I'm just going to press F5 over here on all of it actually, because I need frames for all of it, right? And there you go, I got frames for all of it. And now I can start doing the animation right over here. So I, I can go over here. Everything is selected. I can just move it around over here. So you can see that there's a sort of an animation. I can go select the head and animate that part out just like that. So I can just rotate it out and you can see that it animates just like this. So I'm not doing a very fine animation. I'm just doing a quick animation just like this. And you can see that the head animates over here just like this, right? So. It actually animates out, the head animates out, the tail, right? So rotate this out 
and the tail animates out as well as you can see there's a sort of a uh, thing going on right over there so if i were to animate this out over here you can see that it animates it out as well so i can animate out the legs just like this So it rotates out right there and rotates out. Same goes for this one. So you can be very, very careful regarding the animation that you do. So you can see that there's a sort of an animation going on on all of it. And this is how like you can actually uh, use parenting to do an animation just like this. So we haven't done any advanced animation as of now. And then this one. Right. So once you do that, what you can do is if you were to play it, you have an animation now just like this. Just like that, there's an animation of a turtle working out really fast as you can see. So just like that, uh, you can set out parenting and then uh, have different parents in different parts of the object. Uh, so it's very helpful for animation inside of Toon Boom. So that is how uh, you, can, uh, you, you can use Toon Boom Harmonious Parenting Options. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.